Hey, hey, it's Aran here. In this tech tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to create a contact page on your system IO website and also how to set it up so you receive the message from the contact page to an email address that you want to receive it. Because it's possible that you sign up with system IO using a Hotmail or a Gmail. And now that you've created a proper domain email address, for example, you might want to have the contact information go to that email. So I'm going to show you how to control where does the contact page messages go to. So I'm going to share my screen and you can see right here, I'm going to first of all start with going to blogs over here. Then you're going to go to the relevant blog, which in my case, I've got a bunch of blogs because I'm on the unlimited plan. And the blog that I'm going to is called dot com truths blog and newsletter. In here, you want to go to pages. In pages, you may already have a contact page. In my case, I do not. And I actually don't plan on it, but I did when I recorded a tutorial on how to do it. So you're going to click on create. You're going to click type in the name. So I'm going to call this contact. Click on create blog page. Now you will see the page right here. Now you're going to click on the contact and it will actually go to the editor. Once you're in the editor, you're going to hover over to the left and you're going to do two things. You're going to click on adding a section. And then you'll see the section right here, which is this one. And then you see here on the form, you're going to see the contact us. You're going to click here and you're going to drag it right in the middle and you're going to release and let it be here. Now, in terms of the information and all that and the recapture, that's all um, automated. So that's all here. And also you're going to need to add the public and private recapture key in the custom domain settings. What that means is that by default, this is not going to show up you're going to need to set up the recapture in the settings page, which I have a different tutorial on that, which my virtual assistant will show you how to set up. Now, in terms of this information, you can, of course, uh, customize different things. Let's just say you want to have a different style, like you want to do a solid. So it's going to do something like that. And if you want to customize different things, if you want to have a hard shadow or or things like that. So it's going to look a little bit different. That stuff is all customizable. And at the submit button, again, you're going to be able to customize the color. If you want it to be different, you can do something like click here and click on check and then do something like that. You can customize all of these just like you would the editor any other way. Now, what I did want to show you, which is important, is how to make sure that you actually receive the emails once somebody submits the information. So you're going to get a notification email with the information from the person, but it's not going to be anywhere in the CRM of system IO. So you just need to pay attention to your emails and the way to receive it in the correct email. I'm going to show you now. So right over here where your profile picture is, you're going to click on settings. Once you're in settings, you're going to click on custom domains. Once you're in custom domains, you're going to hover over the three dots and you're going to click on settings, depending on choose the right domain name. And then you're going to change the contact email address right here. So if I want it to be contact at around I will do that. And if you click here, you will see the email address to which the contact us from submissions will be sent. So this is where you would customize it. So this is important, especially if you're not signed up with the correct email address with system, which is possible. Not that it's wrong that you sign up with it. It just means that you might have signed up with Gmail and then you set up a professional email address and you want to receive it there specifically. And also if you have different businesses running through system like me, then that might be another important reason why you would want to do that. So that's about it. That's how you customize the contact page. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you want to receive uh, templates for a contact page, uh, in system IO, uh, let me know, leave a comment below with the word contact, and I'll be sure to add that to my templates and guides membership, where I provide a bunch of templates for system IO for under hundred dollars per year, uh, for pretty much every possible scenario. And as time goes on, I just continue to grow this system IO templates library. That's about it. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you're new to system IO, then definitely uh, check it out with my affiliate link around bukai.com forward slash SIO. And if you are already with system IO or you're thinking of joining and you're not on the paid plan yet, I do have a really cool bonus to actually um, help you one-on-one -on -one with your website. And there's going to be a link somewhere below this video 
or you can go to iran.link forward slash 197 bonus because it's 197 a year. That's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to have somewhere around here a playlist for additional tutorials with System.io which might be of interest to you. Thanks a lot. I'll speak to you soon.